Hey, ah. At least I got her facing the right direction. Oh no. That's not good. Welcome to the channel boys and girls. In this video, I am heading from Mangan to Lachung. Uh, this has been the most amount of uh, off-roading that I've ever done and I thoroughly enjoyed it. Towards the end of it, owing to a lot of stupid decisions on my side and Google Maps inability to identify temporary roads or broken roads led to the most uh, toughest one hour in the whole journey. Now, I kind of got my front tire stuck in a hole that was disguised as a harmless puddle you know you might notice in this uh, video that i switch from my action camera to the phone camera this is because the army and north sikkim ask you not to mount your action cameras on your helmets the, if they do catch you with your action camera on your helmet they can confiscate the camera so I did not, I, I've seen a lot of youtubers use their action cameras uh, in North Sikkim but I'm not one to do the one thing that the army asked you not to do so let's get into the video and uh, make sure that you watch till the end just like share and subscribe let's roll the intro guys Good morning guys and welcome to the channel. This is Salty and you're watching Salty Rides. So today is day 8 of the epic, epic ride and uh, I'm gonna head to Lachung today. This is where I stayed yesterday, the Ginger House. It's a nice little homestay kind of thing tucked away in the middle of the mountains. That's the uh, Tista Star River down there. Alright, so I'll quickly uh, mount and I'll see you in the motor vlog. There's a bike which all loaded up and ready and we are ready to um, head to the uh, most exciting part of the journey. See you soon guys. I am all set on the way to La Chung. I have fueled up uh, my tank. I have fueled up my jerry can the uh, thing is, I have seemed to misplace my balaclava. Uh, I don't know where I kept it. So, there's no balaclava. And uh, the second problem is, uh, my windscreen is fogging up like hell. I have no solution for that. So maybe I have to keep the windscreen up all the time. It's funny how every day I'm telling you about one or the other cup. But then that's life, guys. Life is one f cup a day or maybe even more f cups a f cup a day <laughs> f cups a day but you gotta take it in its stride good thing is i have a muffler so i'm if uh, push comes to shove i'll i'll just wear the muffler and then wear the helmet on top of it and I'm guessing that should do the trick. Ah, so the stay in Chung Thang is also arranged by the nice guy in uh, Mangan. So the ginger house, he has a place in La Chung as well. And uh, wow. <laughs> so intimidating man, these mountains are. Anyway, so he has a place in La Chung as well. And uh, he's gonna. I've I've already paid for the stay. I'm gonna stay there for two days. Uh, and the aim is to reach a zero point. And uh, there's a place called Katao. Yesterday I was not able to remember the name Katao, so that is where I am planning on going. My God, what good work BRO has done over here, man. The roads are mostly really nice, most, mostly, you know, like this, well maintained. 
I think uh, <clears throat> sometimes uh, when there's rock slides or whatever, uh, the roads get damaged and then even those I see everywhere people working to fix that damage. So it's so much fun. So much, so much, so much good work done. I wonder where these stairs go. To heaven, most probably. <laughs> I was just thinking of uh, turning the camera off and then I was like, nah bro, nah. Why would I? Look at that small little waterfall. And... I don't know if, you, if the camera can see this, but there's a waterfall over there, the white line that you can see, so beautiful. Man. Apparently it snowed in uh, zero point yesterday. So... My guide was telling me if it snows when you go there, just turn back, don't stay there. Ah oh, no, look at that man, look at that. See the white line, the river is down there. That's the... <laughs> That's so beautiful. Oh, there's a there's a village up there as well. Oh, wow. Can man. Ah, <laughs> oh, there's one more. I thought that was the last one. Ah <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I gotta look at the road now at the water! <laughs> my god, the beauty! Ah! Insanity! I gotta move quickly because there's one more car coming on the other side. I don't know. A little slushy area over here. Oh my god! That already made my day! <laughs> so beautiful the waterfall! So beautiful! Oh, I'm on the edge literally! <laughs> and it is slippery!
Uh, it's not for the faint hearted guys. This thing is not for the faint of hearts. And if in case there's like a taxi or something behind you, they don't even give you like a second. <laughs> Beauty and danger going hand in hand over here. Ha 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 ha. I thought I was supposed to take that bridge. <laughs> and I'm like, what? No. Uh, you gotta have a great deal of patience uh, to ride in these type of roads. Like if you're a if you're a type of a rider who doesn't have enough patience, just don't even think about coming to these places. You know, my camera must be like, what the heck is this guy doing? <laughs> oh, we are, we, are, we are like really close to the river. I think you will, as soon as I take this turn, you'll be able to see it. <laughs> Don't look at the river, look at the road. <laughs> I mean, I'm telling that to myself, you can look at the river. Ah, oh, shit. Do you see the bridge that we are supposed to cross? Oh my god. <laughs> oh, f me. OMG, bro, OMG. <laughs> Ultimate. How did those cars come through over here? How are they going to cross it? Oh. I gotta wait for them to come. Bridge over here. Let's go. Great success! Ha ha ha! Beautiful! Oh my god! That time it stopped, dude. Uh, I hope I'll die.
It's just completely insane, dude. <laughs> I was just praising BRO for all their great work but then I think all this damage is done very recently Scary dude. <laughs> it is no joke. No joke, I say. Ah, uh, shit, Google is rerouting. Now at this point, I was supposed to turn right. But I just, you know, went straight in all the excitement that I had. And that was the first mistake I made. <laughs> wow! <sighs> just wow, dude. Just, just wow. <laughs> Oh my god! I feel like I've, <laughs> I've accomplished something in life. Like crossing that... Uh, that was the most extreme amount of uh, off-roading I've done so far in my life, <laughs> I think. Ah, oh, f*** me. Mm. And I'm not even halfway there, I think, to... Now this is where I should have realized, how would any car or whatever come through this road? Why am I even going in this direction? Latching. Hello, goats. Look at that, man. Look at that. I mean... They're just driving at the edge of the, 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 the valley. <laughs> uh, why are we going down hill? Which way are we supposed to go? Okay, I think that's where the road is going to kind of connect. This is the point where I took the dumbest decision of the ride. I thought the road would take a sharp right turn, but it did not. Now we're back to some off-roading again. Oh, uh, that looks so scary. This is where Google contributed to the whole mix-up. It was showing me the old route. Okay. Okay. Dar kya ke jeet hai. Let's go. Just the way. Is this the way? I don't know. This was the gaping abyss that was disguised as a mere puddle. Now I'm like praying for at least 
How? Stupid. Don't think dig yourself into a grave. Almost done. Hey, baby. Ah. At least I got it facing the right direction. Oh no. That's not good. That is not good. <laughs> that was the shithole I found myself in. For the next 20 minutes, I tried everything to take the bike out, remove the top box, tried to push the bike onto its side stand, but then the bike was being supported on its bash plate while the front tire was in a deep hole. Come back. Mm. The bike is rescued. So, kind of went into the mud all the way up till this point and uh, hopefully nothing else got damaged uh, 
I kind of smell petrol maybe this thing is leaking it is not I got all Google had to do was give me you know a turn right call which it didn't and I came straight from here you know over there I mean it looked shady I thought just beyond that boulder there's a road but there's no road I am stupid I tried to get the uh, bike out for 15 minutes uh, I was able to pick it up halfway but then after that it was just going back into the hole and there were a couple of BRO guys who were like you know working on an excavator I had to kind of go down some 20 feet 30 feet and then climb back up and then pull the bike out of the hole with them thanks to BRO guys they helped me out a lot I've had some water from the waterfall it's like a pipe from which the water is coming down ah, shit got serious the vehicle is stalling a bit I don't know why in first gear but uh, let's push through the Himalayas man they are relentless I'll see you soon so a little bit after this was the Thang Tunnel and after the Thang Tunnel immediately was a army check post where you had to get your permits verified from that point on you cannot use your mounted action camera the next bit of footage is going to be from the phone camera welcome back from the phone camera guys <coughs> look at where our bike is and this is not even the beginning I was just able to see some uh, oh there's there's a snow clad mountain if you can see if you can get a glimpse of that let me zoom how do you zoom while recording I don't know I'll have to stop recording and then zoom I guess this <laughs> and look 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 down there there's the there's the river oh my god look at this waterfall this is gonna be a weird angle but then oh wow Ah. Extreme beauty guys, extreme beauty. Welcome back. So we have reached another uh, checkpoint. That is the Bhim Nala waterfall. So Lachung is another 10 kilometers from here. This is where the karaoke happens. I'm gonna come back in the night <laughs> to sing a song. What's up guys? Good afternoon. This is again day three. Uh, I have reached Lachung. I'm at the Grand Lachung Hotel and uh, I'm headed out to Katao. The only thing is I won't be able to use my GoPro and stuff. So gonna be vlogging with the phone for now and that too I don't even know if the frame is right Lol. Ooh, look at that <laughs> kept mountains I don't know what the camera is able to see but I am looking at a wall in front of me Oh my god. Oh, the sun has just started shining. Look at that peak over there. <laughs> and there's snow on top of it. And wow, this view is awesome. And there's a there's a yak down there. <laughs> I just saw that one. And I'm not even out of the town yet. 
Welcome guys, 12,666 feet and uh, this is as far as we go in Katao. Uh, I'm gonna stay here for a couple of minutes and then I'm off. It's gotten really cold <laughs> and it's gotten really gloomy. All of a sudden you can see those black clouds. I think it's gonna s I think it's gonna snow. All right guys, it's time to go back. That's the road I took. There's a waterfall down there. I'm gonna stop on my way back. Uh, insane, insane. This ride has been insane. That's why I told you it's the epic, epic ride. <laughs> Look at that peak. I'm at 12,666 feet. And uh, there's still something that tall. It looks gargantuan even from this height. My hands are freezing. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck off from here. Alright, guys, goodbye. Look at those yaks. They're freezing. Ah, what a nice view. So, after striking up the Shah Rukh Khan post at the Katao check post, then witnessing these two women risk their lives for a reel and taking a customary selfie at the Kanda waterfall I was off to Lachung so that's it for this video guys that's it for today's uh, vlog I am uh, back in Lachung and I will uh, be going to the Zero Point and the Yuntang Valley tomorrow mm, I was thinking of going to going back to the Bhimnala waterfalls but then uh, it's getting too cold and it's starting to rain so I don't think that would be a good idea I'm gonna close this one out over here I will see you in the next one until the next one stay, stay safe ride safe if you're new to the channel uh, subscribe and like this video share it with your friends and family Alright guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.